Hello friends. So today here with a new mock-up of a foliar spray bottle. Today we will uh, paint this uh, spray bottle in very easy way. So let's start. First, as usual, we all know we will take we'll be taking the paint tool. You can see we have only single layer here. Um, here we will select the whole bottle here we will be uh, coloring every part in different colors okay so for that we will be selecting each part very minutely and differently so let's start first a little tip that is you can press ctrl and plus to zoom in the screen to zoom in the subject now as you have seen we have zoomed in for the very little curves see the very minute curves you have to select them with this tool you can select them roughly and later you can use wrap but first you can you have to curve them make sure you point each curve just clicking the right side button of the mouse will work see there was a curve around the lower part so we have left that part so that we can later make it all right so leave the curves and make the curved points you can do this as you know later we can adjust all of it with the, with the anchor tool so select it just make sure you take all the curves so that later you can uh, make it minute with that next tool control flush bucket close yes actually the zero button uh, that will help you to go back to the normal size of the image Then again we'll select the add anchor point tool to make the curves better. Then again control plus you can zoom in and make the curves prominent. See how I have added many points and make the curves prominent. As you see that goes inside inwards you have to adjust them according to the shape of the bottle but as you can see that pla that place has created a gap so again we will add one anchor point tool and then we will bring it down make the adjustment as you require you can adjust anyhow upwards downwards make sure you do it very prominently you do not miss any part that part was straight so we don't have any problem there Then again, adding some points and curving the ends. Like this, you can make the changes. It's very simple. You have already commented many times. I have seen 
that uh, the pain tool is very easy and thank you for commenting on our videos keep supporting us and we will be bringing new videos like this you can see i'm making the adjustments here You can fast forward this step. We're almost done with the body part. You can add as many points as you want to make sure that you don't miss out any curve. now again zoom out of the image now we have selected the body then we'll press the right button of the mouse now as we have selected the bottle right click on the bottle and press select the right make selection option then there is an option called radius keep that zero then press ok see you can now you can see that there has been a selected created the background layer is selected right now as you see now press ctrl j while you have selected the background layer as you select that now you can see that it has been copied if you of the visibility of the background layer you will be able to see the difference what's the difference we did so you have selected one object here it has a new layer has been created with only the object you have just selected And in the similar process, we'll be making different parts. Select uh, as many parts as you want to be in the different colors. With the similar way, paint tool and anchor tool. I want to color this part separately, so I will be selecting just that part. you have to select every part separately for every separate design and color keep that in mind and now in the same process make the selections leave the curves and then select the portions so that you can later do all this make the selection as minutely as you can and while you are doing this gradually you will learn it this is a very easy step as you practice you will become a master in this If you understand the assignment, it's very easy to do. 
do not skip these parts so that you will be able to learn it better you can fast forward the place where you don't need to see now as you can see we have already selected this part in the similar process right clicking on the selected portion keeping the radius as zero then pressing okay now you can see the selection has been created then again selecting the background layer pressing control j make sure it's j then see another layer has been created then you can switch off the visibility and then you can see the la different layer is only with the different part now switch on the visibility back and make the rest of the selections I have fast forwarded this part. You can make arrangements and according to your requirements. Make sure you remember you end in the point where you have begun. Then again with the anchor tool. Make sure you stretch the lines as it's needed. If you need to bring it outwards bring it outwards if you need to bring it downwards then do that make sure you do not leave any space the selection should be perfect this only will help your mock-up to look realistic and beautiful Do not leave any curve unattended. Now as we have selected the part, again in the same procedure, then keeping the radius 0, then OK. Now in the similar process, select the background, then press Ctrl J. We have the another layer as you can see we have different layers for different objects that we have selected then again I'm doing the top portion here similar process
now as we have selected all the parts you can see part by part we can see we am just switching off the visibilities to make you understand the difference now we'll select all the layers that we have just created and group them and we will name it object id now we will do the lower, lower part we will put a solid color for that you need to find each layer properly before doing it first of the visibilities then press control and the square part of the layer so as you press control and the layer part the square part so the object will get selected only that part of the object will get selected then we will go to the background now we will be going to the background layer and we will be selecting a solid color here we are selecting a red color as it's a vibrant color then pressing ok as you can't see the color you just have to switch off the visibility of the object id if you switch off the visibility see as you can see the color now we have created a solid layer then again similarly you will do every part that you have selected differently like that we will be click selecting that then again we will go to the color fill option solid color option and selecting a different color So as you can see, we have selected each different part with separate colors. Now we'll be writing a text. So we'll for that we have to create a smart object. So we'll be making a rectangle here. from the rectangle option make sure you draw it till you want the text to be and um, for your adjustments you can give it any color i have selected blue just to know where i have created the rectangle after that you have to right click on the rectangle layer and then from there you have to select the convert to smart object selection after you have converted it to the smart object as you can see it has a oval shape a rounded one so to make it more realistic you have to place the smart object a little in a better way so you have to you do select the rectangle and press control there then you have to transfer it and you will right click on it and 
we'll select the wrap option then we'll select the custom wrap option from there we will be selecting the arch option but as you can see it has curved on a opposite way but we need it to be downwards so we will bring it a little downwards just a little bit so as you can see it looks more realistic and then we will click, uh, press the right click option as you can see the smart object we have created right now is a little bit outside of the object so for that we have to bring it to the shape for that for that we will use masking option we, as you see we have already selected the object here or we can do is select it from the object ID pressing the control as you know that square part we selected the layer 1 we have selected the bottle see the line has come around the bottle so we will select the smart object layer also as we as you can see there is a masking option in the bottom of the screen see as you can as soon as you press the ma mask option the smart object will take the shape of the bottle Now we will double click on the smart object layer. As you can see, it will open a new tab. Here you can add any text that is which text is according to your preference. We can change the front, color, size, anything. We we'll choose a little bold type of text. You we'll can bold it from there. You can also increase or decrease the line spacing there. As you do uh, in other applications like wordpad, notepad, whatever you can do it accordingly it's as simple as that and as you can see my writing is a little it looks like a little claustrophobic <laughs> so we will make it a little spacey here Decreasing the size, tilting it. Now we'll press the right button. As you remember, we have to save the layers. It's getting one on another is because the line spacing there so adjust it this thing happens with you also you can give it a sample text now we will just keep the text not the blue color so we will switch off the visibility there then we will save it if you don't save it as you know it won't update so make sure that you save all the changes you do now see it has updated um, as you can see the picture is here now it is time for the shadow and light 
now we will do the go to object id press control and select the controls shift then we will select the all the layers as you know shift help us to select multiple objects so we will keep on selecting all the objects here from object id when you have selected the whole bottle now background now press ctrl j and copy the whole bottle now close the group as i have done with object id Now we will copy this layer that we have copied just now. We we'll copied two more times. See now we have three copies of this bottle. Now we will name each of the copies as light, shadow and midtone. I have named the first one light, second the midtone and the third one shadow. First we will um, divide and midtone. We will off the layers. Now from the shadow layer we will select and from there we will change the style from normal to multiply so as you can see the when you uh, switch on and off the layer the shadow part is a little different it has appeared now we will do the mid-tone now we will switch on the mid-tone part then from style now we will do it linear dodge okay now, as you can see, the, the bottle looks very uh, white, too much of light. So, for that adjustment, we'll go to Image, Adjustments. From there, we'll select Levels. Now, from there, see the cursor I'm moving. As you increase that, you'll see the color of the bottle is changing on little by little. So, we will decrease the line cursor. This is the of output level. Do the adjustments according to your requirements then as when you are satisfied with that press ok that's that then we will go to light from there we will give the layers change the style the style of light will be screen then as you see we are not satisfied with the result again in the same process we will go and adjust it from images adjustments levels and then according to your requirement you increase or decrease the input and output levels then when you are satisfied press ok Now we will select light, tone, mid -tone, uh, light, mid tone and shadow. 
pen and group them in the middle. We'll name it as fx. As you see, we have already created it. Now you can change the color, any color you want. Blue, red, purple, pink, whatever you wish. From that color palette, you can do it. You can change each element differently. See, you can keep it white or golden. What appears you to be more realistic. <laughs> then we'll click on the background. Then we'll first bring a solid color layer. From that palette, you know how to bring it. As you see. So... As you see, we don't have the shadow of the bottle. What we'll do? So for that, just for now, okay, okay, the color layer and now click the solid color you have just taken. Then you change the option to linear bird. Now you can see the shadow is there and then now you can change the color of the background as you want to. Now oh, you see, we have already changed color for the background and everything is done right now. So we have already finished our mock-up. So our video is still right this point today. Share your ideas with us and see you next week.